guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a special video. It's huge, it's big. It's October 1st and it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, hence the pink. This breast, can the Breast Cancer Awareness Month is very dear to my heart. My mother had breast cancer and she was diagnosed at age 61. And if you don't know, um, if it runs in your family, you typically go 10 years shy of the first time that your mother got it. So say if she got it at 40, then I should get my first mammogram at 30. So, but since I'm 42, I've already had my first mammogram. Everything was beautiful at 40. So, um, and you get it every year thereafter, or depending on your doctor, you could do every two years. But since I do have a history in my family, I go every year. So, with that being said, I wanted to come on here and do a quick video. It is also Ultrasound Awareness Month. Woohoo for the ultrasound techs out there. As general ultrasound techs, we do scan breast ultrasound, and it is pretty common that we have probably one or two patients on our work list um, if you're working in that type of field, meaning if your company, wherever you're working, hospital or radiology clinic scans breast, but typically you would do about one to two ultrasound, breast ultrasounds a day. Um, so in the 20 years that I have been scanning, I have not found a lot of breast cancer. We have biopsied a lot, um, but a lot of them come back just the fibroid adenoma which is totally benign negative and some of them do come back positive and with that being said we have to really zone in on early detection and early detection starts at home by filling your breast getting to know your breast getting to know the lumps in your breast getting our breast breasts are naturally lumpy anyways so getting to know your texture how it feels if something new develops, you should be checking your breast one time a month, um, typically after your period. So, because during your hormonal changes, when it's heightened, during your period, you can feel a lot of other things. It could be cysts, it could be, you know, just normal breast tissue. So, check it about maybe two to three, four days after your period has ended to see what is normal for you. That is your baseline. If you do find something, Definitely go to your doctor, let her fill it, let him fill it, go and get an ultrasound if it is something that they actually say, hey, yeah, I do feel the same thing, let's get it looked at. Then you will go to ultrasound. Ultrasound is huge with finding cysts, breast tissue, masses, things like that. We are very close-knit working with mammograms. So if a mammogram detects something, they send you to ultrasound. If ultrasound detects something, they send you to mammogram. Now, new in day and age, we have breast MRI, which is huge and it is very sensitive in finding breast cancers, which is awesome. So definitely um, check your breast, follow up, ask around, ask your family, ask your mother, ask your dad, ask if there's any history in your family that you should be aware of one out of eight women in the united states will get breast cancer it's over the course of her lifetime 12 percent invasive cancer in 2020 i'm reading here i just want to give you the stats of today 2020 um estimated 276,000 cases of invasive cancer are expected to be diagnosed in women um in the US, along with 45,000 new cases of non invasive um, in situ breast cancer. So, I just wanted to come on here and tell you that information, as well as last year my mom passed away of breast cancer and she fought it for 12 years. And that's huge. That's a blessing. It went away, it will come back, it went away, it came back, it went away, and it came back. And Unfortunately, um, it, it, it invaded or metastasized into her intestines and also her rectal area. Um, metastatic breast cancer is um, known to go to your uterus and ovaries and then spread through the lungs and the brain. But none of her, she had a hysterectomy, none of her vital organs were touched meaning her liver, her pancreas, her brain, all that was clean. Um, but 
it did last the last time it came back it was in her intestines and it caused it caused a blockage so that's what made her pass away from starvation unfortunately um i could talk about that today if you would have got to me a few months ago no i would not have been able to talk about it but i wanted to talk about it because it is out there it is a cancer that really affects women but also men so men please do your due diligence as well and check yourself um check your testicles because if a mass forms in the testicles sometimes it migrates and metastasizes to the breast so i didn't want to say all that but i did and i hope that this gives you some insight of breast cancer just a little bit i'm touching just the tip but with that being said i want to ask you guys if you would be willing to donate to the organization i will have all the details down in the description box to the company to donate to so please open your heart open your pocketbooks and to donate for this special cause and i am going to try to do a video four days each week it may be 10 minutes it may be five minutes but you will be seeing my face four days a week in october each week in october so Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, my name is Tamika. I should have said this in the beginning, but I do a lot of ultrasound, medical information, and also lifestyle, my family. So here on my channel, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button below. I would love to have you guys a part of my family here on YouTube. We are a great establishment here. I love it. I love what we have done. I love what we have built and we are keep on building and we're going to keep on climbing. I wanted to tell you guys about my girlfriend, LOL Giselle, here on YouTube. She is amazing. She's sweet and she is a new grad, but she has landed two jobs and she also has a YouTube channel. She has been a huge inspiration to me as a new grad and just the things that she's conquering and she's really doing really big on YouTube. She's amazing. Um, and also in the ultrasound world. She has a lot of insight to you new grads and newbies who are entering into the field. So I wanted you to go over there and check out her channel. I'll have all the details and the link down below in the description box. Please go check her out. Tell her Tamika sent you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.